Hello everyone, welcome to another vlog. I am at the Disneyland Hotel in Anaheim, California. And I want to take you on a little tour of the hotel. It will actually be throughout the day. I'm going to be going into Disneyland, uh, so this will be sporadic. Um, but nonetheless, I wanted to show you some of the areas and features and theming and unique things that the hotel has. So come along with me again. It's going to be throughout the day. We're starting in the morning. We'll probably end in the evening. I'll take you around and show you some of the unique things at the Disneyland Hotel. All right, so into the hotel we go. Even entering when you start out, they have these cool old uh, model monorails on the gates on either side. It's pretty cool branding. And then walking in towards the main courtyard. There are currently three towers. I am staying in the Fantasy Tower way up here. There's the Adventure Tower on this side. And then in the back is the Frontier Tower. And then they're currently, as you can probably hear and see, building a fourth one. Although I'm going through the trees right now. So one second. So the grounds are very nice. They're very, uh, they do a lot of tropical theming, which is kind of fun and relaxing. Um, I'll show you some of these areas up here in a sec. But first I want to show you something unique that is in the Goofy's Kitchen restaurant area. So in here they actually have an old school Autopia car with the Disneyland branding. And then it even has Autopia through the decades. Uh, starting in the 50s, how it looked there with no uh, center bar on the track. Kids must have loved that. Looks like it went through a house at one point. Then it updated into the 60s. Start seeing the monorail coming in in the background. Still no track there. So probably a lot of bumping. And then you get into the 70s through 1999. I was going to say these look familiar. This is what I was used to growing up. Growing up in the late 80s and 90s. And then more recently in 2000 when they redid Tomorrowland. Kind of did this look. And then today how it currently looks. And there's that track you see so you don't bump as much in the middle. But pretty interesting quick little history of Autopia. And again, a car itself, no pedals. I can't ride this out of here, unfortunately, but I thought that was kind of cool. They put that right by the escalators in the waiting area. And then this board is pretty cool. It's Disneyland Hotel in the 50s and 60s. So when it first opened, kind of get some of the ideas of how it initially would have looked. A lot has changed over the years. You don't see this anymore, but that sign would have been cool if they kept it. Family by the hotel itself. Monorail themed bar where the monorail used to go through the hotel. And you have Walt Disney at the monorail. Oh, at one point they had mini golf. That would have been fun if they kept that. Uh, band marching through the Mouseketeers performing here. Kind of the different things that they had. Waterworld, shops, the monorail. How our room would have looked. It's pretty interesting. That was the 50s and 60s. And then this wall's the 70s and 80s with some of the towers that are more rec recognizable now. The pool was in a different location and they actually had these motorboat options that they no longer do. But very, this looks very, very much 70s. Uh, but they used to have, I guess, a view, a clearer view of the fireworks. There are trees now and buildings of downtown Disney where this is. Now, do you remember this? They used to have a water show, their own light water show, very 
early easy version of World of Color. And yeah, they had, like I said, more of a marina kind of thing going back then. This waterfall. The towers as they looked, and this is the parking lot into Disneyland that is now downtown Disney and California Adventure. So a lot of things have changed over the years. They have this wall of tons of collectibles, Disneyland collectibles. Gosh, it's hard to even keep track of everything. There's a lot of different Disneyland souvenirs. I do like that Haunted Mansion shadow box. But you can see a lot of things that you could collect Disneyland-wise over the years. This Mickey mask is a little bit terrifying. And then with the eyes behind it, like they have it, I, I need to move away from that. All the different records, plates. I don't know if that castle was for sale in any form, but there's a fantasy land game at the top, the board game, different versions of the Disneyland guidebooks. I actually just bought that one with Walt Disney on it at a Goodwill for $2. And it was from 1956 or seven, I believe. And a Disneyland license plate, Mickey clock. And lots of various collectibles. Pretty interesting, this wall alone would take a lot of time, but unfortunately I have to get moving. That is the interesting thing about this hotel, is like every area I go in is always a new sort of piece of both the hotel and Disneyland history. Um, so it's been pretty fun, like every room you go in, it's pretty awesome. Then up ahead, this Tongaroa Terrace has really good Hawaiian, Asian food. I was a fan. And then over here, it's pretty cool. They actually have a water slide that looks like the old school monorail. Or monorails. So they have a, a smaller one at the bottom, the larger slide at the top, and then the retro Disneyland sign um, that would have been at the front of the park. Next. So, it's a, so it's a cool ode to retro Disneyland that they built here. And then behind it is that tower I mentioned that they're building now for the ever-changing Disneyland Hotel. So this is what I was mentioning. They have pretty good food here at Tongaroa Terrace. It's all island themed and kind of quick service food, but a pretty cool seating area. Um, and we'll talk about Trader Sam's later tonight. I'm going to go there later tonight, but in the meantime, I like the uh, kind of kitschy Hawaiian theme they've done here and it's actually pretty good food and decent prices I will say and uh, the theming was pretty pretty well done so I recommend this so entering you see it looks like this and you can order food to for like takeout style in here and then they have a nice seating area over here near the pool. They light up these torches at night. You can hear the Hawaiian music. It's like island themed. So definitely a recommended spot. Now past uh, that area with all the eating options and island style food, there's actually a couple stores within the hotel which are very convenient and I would say if you are a Disneyland Trader Sam's Tiki Collector. I want to show you a section in one of the stores that they have here that I discovered and it has actually some really cool things for fans of Trader Sam's. So it's in what's called the Fantasia Shop in the Fantasy Tower and we have to actually go into the hotel to get into the entrance. All right, so as you can see, they have the, these uh, bowls and um, they have some mugs available. They have this tiki room sign for $150, but still pretty uh, cool. So if you, you have the money, um, I'm not getting that. But anyway, I did get this mug because it's Trader Sam's branded uh, here, kind of a classic tiki mug. Um, I got another mug later, the Trader Sam's 
fanatic, I guess. Uh, and then, I, I, speaking of which, um, this is a shirt I purchased, which is uh, with the logo. Uh, these aren't easy to come by. It's only at the hotel, so I did get this. I like the, the back as well. Um, $30, you know, but if you're a fan, you're willing to pay for it. Uh, so this one's pretty cool. And then on this table here, they add some more kind of like tiki room uh, related things. Uh, and they have uh, this thing, this is expensive. It's like a detailed parrot from the tiki room. So, too pricey for me. And they have this section here, the Trader Sam's Tiki Room merch. Uh, Disneyland Hotel merchandise. A lot of it with the retro look, uh, including the shirts. The happiest day on earth, it's pretty clever. We got again more of the tropical theme and the Trader Sam's building, and then this mug. I have admit, this mug is pretty cool. I like that it looks retro. We yeah, need to get it. And uh, magnets over here, and then they even have this like postcard from the 50s of the Disneyland sign with the cars from the 50s. That's pretty cool. I realized I put Mickey as a cloud too. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty cool. A little picture. And they have it larger as well. So this is where you come if you want Disneyland Hotel merchandise, unsurprisingly. All right, let's go into the Fantasy Tower where I'm currently staying. All right, so they have a lot of Small World and Fantasyland things in here, unsurprisingly. So you can try to spin the table, but it doesn't go anywhere. Fine. No. So going in a room. This is the magic you see when you enter the room. Even the carpet is magical with all these fireworks. All these fireworks going off. Then you have a pillow here that says a dream is a wish your heart makes when you're fast asleep. There's this giant Disneyland headboard with the castle that I will show you tonight as well. It has an effect. Pretty nifty, but everything, a lot of Walt details, which is great. I mean, you got Walt Disney on the phone next to your phone. So nice little touch. You gotta have the picture of Walt next to the castle, walking through the castle. Famous picture up in the room as well. They have the Disneyland Hotel condiment kit with an assortment of coffees and teas and a Keurig. Pretty convenient. Even the bathroom looks magical. You got the Mickey hands holding up the lights and of course Mickey in the details. Another Mickey hand holding up a light. Mickey in the details. And even when you are taking care of business, you have the inspiration of a Dumbo the Flying Elephant picture right there in the room. Is there one back here? No, nothing to stare at on that wall. You can just look at this wall. Just look a little sideways while you're, again, taking care of business and get some Disney inspiration. You can have Walt inspire you to be neat and ready. It's always good. And then even look, the, the handles of the sink. You got Mickey Mouse heads. Details everywhere. Okay, now here comes the magical part. This is just for the light on the nightstand. We're gonna turn that off. You press this starburst firework looking button. All right, and even in this hallway near the elevators, there's all these old school pictures of Disneyland back in the day, including with Walt Disney. A lot of old 
Hollywood stars. You have Walt Disney um, doing the opening ceremony for It's a Small World with Mary Blair designing it. The first kids to go into Disneyland picture. You got the Sherman Brothers. An opening day photo uh, and from 1955. Walt Disney showing Disneyland, the plan for Disneyland. Various uh, parts of the park construction. See here, watching Main Street being built. The opening of the monorail with Richard Nixon. Quite a few interesting photos actually here. Dick Van Dyke with his daughters. Looks like, uh, yeah, Elizabeth Taylor. Yeah, Walt Disney in the Tiki Room. Walter Cronkite. Kind of interesting history of Disneyland. Sophia Loren on the Jungle Cruise. Vincent Price near the castle. Yeah, pretty interesting collage of the history of Disneyland. Again, this is in the Fantasy Tower. And this little visual history is just right across from all the elevators. <clears throat> How magical is that? You can go to sleep with this. Amazing. All right, so as I mentioned, this is the Adventure Tower. And we'll go inside and see what they have for the theming for this. Walk inside. So once inside, they have these models of some of the Jungle Cruise uh, animals that you see on the ride. I think this is all pretty familiar. Um, so these are sculpted in clay, it says, and was used to visualize some of the things you would see on the Jungle Cruise. In fact, when you enter, there's this pretty cool Adventureland wallpaper old school. They even have a sketch of a Jungle Cruise boat up on the wall. You walk this way, you have Walt Disney in the Tiki Room. Everyone should go in the Tiki Room. It's a great, kitschy Disneyland original. As you walk along, there's more of the concept art of the Jungle Cruise ride itself. Some of these things you see, some of them just concept art. It is adventure themed lighting here. And then another concept art piece. This is not what made it onto the ride in the final ride, but never too late. And here's an old Tiki Room entrance picture that they have on display back in the old days. Oh. So this is supposed to be like a Davy Crockett looking Mickey for the Frontier Tower behind him. So he's wearing a coonskin cap. And he has more of Frontierland looking plants. So that's the sign. We're going to go see Frontier Tower next. All right. So as you can see, the third tower is Frontier Tower. You got your Mark Twain riverboat and the Davy Crockett canoes. And then the tower itself under some construction. So this is the Frontier themed. I almost said shower. Tower. They probably have frontier showers in here. Actually, they don't. They're modern showers. All right, let's go in. All right, so once you're in here, they actually have a scale model of the Big Thunder Mountain ride itself, including with the little ghost town in the back. And full scale model of the attraction. It's pretty impressive. Do you want to go to Adventure Tower now? 
It goes all the way around. You can even see the train going this way. It is pretty darn nifty. Oh yeah. So if you go here, this is like what the front of the line would be. What everybody's used to going through. You get a closer view of the ghost town in the back. And then the full ride itself. It's getting a lot of reflection, but that is pretty detailed and impressive. You know that dinosaur at the end that you pass? I'm sure you can buy this. I'm sure it's very affordable if you want to just get one at Disneyland. Then they have here the kind of idea for Frontierland itself. Not quite all of this is what it ended up looking like, but roughly the idea. And then just down this way, they have an older sketch that was done probably in the 50s with Mark Twain. And it looks like at that time it was the Disneyland Steamship Company. And the boat ride tickets. So almost close to what you see in modern times. That's pretty cool. And then just coming up here is another artist sketch of what the area would look like. This is the Fort Wilderness section of Frontierland on Tom Sawyer Island, I think, or it's the entrance of Frontierland, one of the two. Um, but again, just some pretty cool early sketches that they put in the Frontier Tower. Early Frontierland sketches. All right, and behind me is Trader Sam's, which I had mentioned earlier. Um, this is the really cool kitschy tiki bar at the Disneyland Hotel. My friend Adam introduced me to this place, so credit to him. Uh, but it's super fun. I'm gonna get some shots of the inside, hopefully. I have a pretty wide collection of the tiki mugs that their drinks come in. It's kind of like a tropical tiki kitschiness, goodness place, so. Highly recommend as part of a visit to the Disneyland Hotel. Very hard to get into. Right now it's a two hour wait. We're gonna see if I'm actually gonna stay and make it. All right, so once you're actually in Trader Sam's, you'll see that it is kitschiness to the max. Just like I said, now wait till you see the drink I'm gonna get. That's where the fun is. Um, and when the storm comes through, that still has to happen, but look at this. What's not, what's not to like? Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.